Are UFC fighters losing money? That's the topic for today. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Miles Jerry, and today I want to talk about are UFC fighters losing money? This topic really hits home to me. I've been fighting my whole life. I was signed with the UFC and I worked for them for seven years. Until this day, UFC fighting is how I feed my family. At the end of the day, I hate to see fighters get hurt financially. We work hard for our money, we put it on the line, we entertain people. And when fighters actually, you know, get hit in their pockets, it really, really makes me mad. It's kind of like when people don't subscribe to the channel and they don't smash that like button. It's not cool. Fighters make all their money when they get in that cage and they fight. With fighting in, in UFC and Bellator, there's really no money to be made outside of, of fighting. You get in that cage, when that cage door shuts, you scrap, you fight, and you get paid. That's where 90 plus percent of people that do MMA, their income comes from, is the actual fight itself. This isn't like you, you get you know mon money every month from the UFC or, or Bellator just paying your bills and, and you fight and that, that's extra money. No, fighters make their money when they fight. That's it. The concern with this situation right now is UFC fighters and fighters in general, they're not making NBA money. They're not making NHL money. Most entry-level fighters in the UFC are making 10,000 a show and 10,000 if they win. They're not making any money outside of that. UFC's not cutting them any checks just for being signed, anything like that. So they're basically living paycheck to paycheck. And with this whole scenario going and happening right now, what's gonna happen? They're living paycheck to paycheck and now they don't have an opportunity to fight. They don't have that money coming in. That's my concern. What are they going to do? Let's discuss some of these events that are going on right now that could be really hurting UFC fighters and fighters in general's pockets. Number one is the canceling of events. This is huge. Dana White just announced that he's canceling two to three events all the way up until April 11th. Now there's this, you know, there's a pandemic going around right now. I'm not going to state the, the name of it. YouTube doesn't like that, but it's real and it's affecting people. And now with UFC canceling these events, What's going to happen? I I would like to know if, if these fighters are going to get compensated. I would like to know if, if UFC is going to be paying them some money because they're not fighting. Now, I would also like to know, are they getting put on cards later on in the year? Because look at it from this perspective. I'm planning to fight. I've been training eight weeks for this fight. I put every, every dollar I have, every ounce of energy and time that I have to, to prepare for this fight. And then I get a call that says, hey, the card's canceled. You know, you were supposed to fight in March. We don't know when you're going to fight. And possibly if you do still fight, it might not even be till the end of the year. I mean, that that sucks. That really, really sucks. What are you going to do for money? What are you going to do about all this time that you just put in? You got coaches you need to, to pay for. You have bills you need to pay for. So what are you going to do? That's, that's what I'm talking about right now. That's the stuff that is going to be hurting fighters. And I, I don't like to see it. I really don't. But these are the real world events that are happening around us right now. And that's something we got to deal with. Number two is just no audiences. UFC, they've announced, and even Bellator has talked about it a little bit, that they were going to go forward with putting on these events. They weren't going to cancel them, but they just were going to have no audiences. So that to me right there kind of doesn't sit well because UFC, Bellator, they're in the game to make money. And a part of that money they make is by selling tickets to the actual event itself. Now, without the audience being there, that's going to be a percentage that the UFC and Bellator got to take a hit on. That's income that, that isn't coming in anymore because they're canceling that. They're not letting the audiences be there. So I wonder if that's going to hurt the UFC fighters behind the scenes. No audiences means less money for the UFC and it trickles down. Does that mean less money for UFC fighters? The next thing that's possibly hurting UFC fighters is travel restrictions. With the UFC and with Bellator, you have fighters from all across the world. And what happens is Bellator and UFC, they call these fighters and they say, hey, we got a fight card in, in Vegas or we have a fight card in Australia. There's cards all around. And what happens is the UFC and Bellator, they fly these fighters in. With the travel restrictions right now of not letting people in or out of countries, that's really going to hurt. I mean, what are these fighters going to be doing? If there's if you're from Italy right now, for, for instance, and you make your money by fighting in the UFC, but you're not allowed to leave Italy. How are you supposed to fight? How are you supposed to make money? Again, that leaves this fighter in a, in a scenario where they're sitting back and they're just waiting. They're waiting for 
Is the travel restriction going to be lifted? Is the UFC going to be actually putting on events? Will I be able to, to fight there? We, they don't know. And that puts a, that fighter in a position of how are they going to make money? How are they going to have money? Because they can't fight. Next up is sponsors. F UFC fighters, fighters all across the world, they make a good majority of their money from sponsors, which are people that pay them money for fighting. And when they're not in the cage actually in there performing underneath those bright lights, in front of cameras, and not representing their sponsors, they're not making money. So again, this goes back to fighters need to fight. And if a fighter can't get in that octagon, cannot get out there and, and put it on the line and, and entertain people, the sponsor money isn't going to be coming in. So this is another way that could possibly be hurting fighters' pocketbooks. And on top of that, a lot of these fighters train at gyms. And with gyms being closed all across the world, how are fighters supposed to, to train? On top of that, you have fighters that actually s supplement their income by teaching privates or teaching seminars and actually being at a gym teaching classes. With gyms being closed across the world, how are they supposed to have that extra income come in? That's the question I'm just wondering right now. It's not a good scene to, to see fighters be having to go through these situations, but that's what we're dealt with right now. And we have to stay grounded, stay focused, make sure we don't have fear in our mindset and that actually everything will work out. So my question is, are UFC fighters, are fighters in general, are they losing money right now because of how the market is, because of what's going on in the world? Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. Don't forget, let me know. Smash that like button, subscribe, and until next time, see you guys.